Like, and then you bring it to me. Let me be free. Let me be free. This is a story of boy meets girl, but you should know up front, this is not a love story. I did a poll recently asking you guys if you wanted me to speak on Vosh. Overwhelmingly, you, you guys said yes. So, so that's what we're going to do. Recently, an incident happened where a baby Vosh, like a Vosh Jr., we call him Xander Hall sometimes, but majority of the time we call him Vosh Jr. He been just, I'm trying to censor myself, kissing up to Vosh for a long time. He mimicked him, right? He used his arguments, defended him against all. Yeah, that, that was the type of time that he was on. But Xander Hall recently was like, hey, let me call out Vosh because I want a, a new daddy. I want Biden. He was like, I, you, he, Uncle Sam did. He was. Straight nasty. Let's play a clip of him giving his opinion on Vosh and Biden and pretty much choosing Biden over Vosh. I don't know why I'm shaking my head like I disagree. I, I don't actually care who he chooses. I just like roasting it. Biden. This video sponsored, of course, by uh, Americans for President Trump. No. Wait, okay, so you gotta, you gotta, okay, so he's self-aware, right? Like, he's self-aware that there's sort of a very clear shift he's taken in his content as we're getting closer to the election, where we use, like, my friend said that skimming through his thumbnails, he couldn't tell whether or not he had become a right-wing streamer. Like, he, my, my buddy Ethan, like, straight up asked me, like, is, is Vosh, like, a right-wing streamer now? Is he, like, going full grifter? It was like, it sucks because like Ethan, Vosh and I went in real life. Like Ethan has hung out with me and Vosh in real life. So it was like, dude, this is sad, man. Like I, I've hung out with this guy. It feels like I'm, this is some cringe he's uploading. You know, like my my buddies who aren't even into politics like I am are seeing these uploads and cringing because it's so blatantly like dis. It feels disingenuous how anti Biden it is. Right. Once again, I. Don't care who he chooses to be friends with. But I do think it's quite hilarious, man. Oh, it's it's really funny. I do think as well that Xander Hall is starting some imaginary beef to kind of get some kind of clout. He he does this. He'll have like a friendship with somebody. Oh, I like them. And oh, the amazing people. Let me just start trying to go after them. Right. And also you can disagree with somebody without actually having a hate or disdain for them. But when it comes to the, like this internet space and the way people try to act all fake buddy buddy and turn around and now they think that you're the worst or now they want to protect a president or whatever just to go after you. It just happens like that sometimes. I do want to make it clear and add this disclaimer that I'm not defending Vaj or his opinions. I don't care, right? that, that at all. I just think it's funny watching this lover's quarrel. Quarrel, love. Y'all be making fun of me when I mispronounce stuff sometimes. It's all good as long as you're having fun. Why do you, and why the drama? Who, if I'm watching, I'm watching. What is he even saying? Why not just say what is being said? If than Biden, that's the thing. Do. I mean, and I was and like, you know, he sounds okay, like okay ish. You know, Biden was hosting a NATO meeting in DC. Just listen. And now I want, I'm not gonna lie. I, I think you have to let me talk or to respond. Thing is everything. Else. Well, let's watch. watch a couple of these and straight, very straightforward thing to kind of be unrelated, but I think like, even like I'm sure you're not just a, it was bad enough. They they had to pull me out of retirement just for. for on President Biden. This video sponsored, of course, by uh, Americans for President Trump. No. Wait, OK, so you got to you got to OK, so he's self-aware, right? Like he's self-aware that there's sort of a very clear shift he's taken in his content as we're getting closer to the election where we use like my friend said that skimming through his thumbnails, he couldn't tell whether or not he had become a right wing streamer. Your friend might be uh, kind of stupid. <laughs> well, what? 
criticizing Biden is right wing, wanting Biden to drop out so a better candidate can be. Come on, man, this is low level stuff. Do I even need to dignify this with a response? Like he, my, my buddy Ethan, like straight up asked me, like, is, is Vosh like a right wing streamer now? Yeah, is like, really? That. Is he like going full grifter? It was like it sucks because like Ethan. Do, do, am I to, am I to assume this is like a transparent like getting attention? We need views thing. I I don't I don't understand. I I I have a, a fuzzy memory in the best of times. I feel like I distinctly recall Xander Hall having the faculties necessary to comprehend the difference between, uh, you know, this is a criticism of the Democrats and of Biden meant to facilitate a better chance of beating Trump versus like whatever the right wing is cooking when they criticize Biden. Like the, the you thought you think I'm a right winger. I'm, I'm like making videos on Trump and the best of friends touch the island. Come on, silly. Ush and I went and in real life, like Ethan has hung out with me and Vosh in real life. So he was like, dude, this is sad, man. Like I, I've hung out with this guy. It feels like I'm, this is some cringe he's uploading. What? What? What are we? What are we talking about, man? Why do I even bother getting along with people when this is the inevitable outcome of every person I maintain like a semi-friendly relationship with? Oh, Vosh, you mad? You, you big mad? He mad man. This is crazy. <laughs> I don't really think it's that big of a deal, fam. I know you expected Zen Hall to be your junior forever. I kind of did too a little bit, even though he does try to like go after people that he's friends with. I keep bumping my knee. I'm not taking that out of the video either. He goes after people that he's friends with. But that's part of his strategy. I don't think Vosh is any different. I'm not choosing either side. I think both parties are nasty. It woke. I don't think you should take any kind of advice or let alone a political opinion from any one of these people. They're jokes. Clowns. It's not an ab hominem attack. I legitimately think that they are clowns. They put on a show, say a lot of crazy things, blah, 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 Just to get attention, views, clout, debate bros, if you will, right? I've had quite a few debates on YouTube, right? Or just let alone in life. Let alone in life as well. I've had a lot of debates, right? But when it comes to YouTube, it's just social media in general. I think a lot of them be pointless as hell. So I, I got to call a spade a spade. If you're doing it for entertainment, okay. I don't really care to change people's opinions, to be honest. I'm more of a free thinker. Say what you want to say, as long as it's within guidelines, is not your platform. Somebody owns it, they make rules. I disagree with the rules, but whatever. It is what it is. It's... But I digress. I, I think that's a whole nother subject in itself. But yeah, I think a lot of the debates that happen online outside of entertainment value are pointless. A lot of these guys don't know what they're talking about. They're just saying whatever their audience thinks they want to hear. I don't do that. I just give an honest opinion. And if you don't like it, you don't like it. What you going to do about it? What you, what you going to Nothing. Exactly. Bosch, on the other hand, he's really mad about people having their opinions, and he's even going as far as to attack his fans. Right? <laughs> like, stop, you know, asking him for his opinion on things. He he don't he don't want to respond at all. And I think in this instance, they were asking him about Boogie Two Nine, whatever. You're a YouTuber. They want to hear your opinion. If you don't want to talk about something, I understand. But why? Why go after your fans like that? That's just nasty. I'm informed that this 18th one is worse than I thought. Like, and then you bring it to me. Let me be free. Let me be free. Overall, I think both parties are nasty as heck. I wouldn't take them serious at all. 
just laugh at him. Entertainment. It's entertainment. You, you like you still listening to Bosch words, son? Like for real? I don't think you ever should have listened to him, but he has his loyal you fans, and I'm sure they're gonna be in the comment section crying in this. That you're right. <laughs> that is you're right. But let me know what you think down in the comment section. Do you think Vosh was wrong? Do you think Xander Hall was wrong? Or do you think Xander Hall was in the right this time? Give him an excuse to cry. Who, who cares? Let me know what you think down in the comment section. And yes, I'm on that green. Why are you judging me? I don't care if you judge me. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed watching the video. Now, if you have some extra time, can you do me a favor? Check out my music. I rap, I sing, and I make beats. All of that should be linked in the description. Also, if you want to watch me live stream, you can check me out on BXB Boy Live. That's another YouTube channel. It should be linked to my homepage. And you can check me out on Twitch and Rumble. I'm streaming on all these platforms, man. Trying to just get out there. Also, if you want to support me, you can sign up for my memberships on my channel, as well as my Patreon for as low as $1. You get exclusive access to a bunch of videos early before you even get it on YouTube, as well as videos that's not ever going to be on YouTube. Stuff that actually got me suspended and banned. It's, it's kind of my anti-cancel culture fun for BX Beast Boy. You know what I mean? And it also helps me get resources for certain video essays and things of that nature. Check that out if you're able to. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. And join my Discord if you are able to, man. The link should be somewhere within my description or somewhere on my channel. I would really love to see you there, man. That's where you get a chance to talk to me and the rest of my supporters, man. I appreciate you guys. Bang, gang, out.